I'm usually uh, uh, I, I build instruments um, in the beginning and I, I never have the contact with playing with instruments but I started to build some electronic instruments circuit bending and analog electronics and I was exploring the concept of an instrument not the music itself but then I started to play the instruments and um, s uh, collaborating with some improvisations with people from favela and then I start to, uh, start to develop some music interest on improvisation and live electronics. My practice, uh, as I was saying, started in a, what I consider to be a different uh, part of music, which is pop music. Um, but then I, I, I always had some interest in longer, I guess, longer music and drone music and stuff like that. And um, I started to trying to uh, transfer what I've learned from uh, singing and writing songs and trying to output some kind of truth, uh, trying to, um, I started to try to transfer that to uh, playing improvised music and I think uh, one thing that uh, I always associated with improvised music is the uh, some sort of collaboration or some sort of uh, mutual composition f live live uh, live composition. You know. The favela discus nucleus is um, David Olé, uh, Tito Silva, me, uh, Dora Vieira and her, and uh, Nuno Oliveira, Ricardo Bordomingos, and I don't know who else, but it, it, it was basically our the everybody was living that, in the yeah, same that was building. living in the, the same building, which was favela. Yeah, favela, favela discos, discos is a label that uh, a friend of some friend of mine, of ours, uh, and ourselves created, and um, and it started with a. I don't know it, if it was a concept, but it it st started. We started with the idea of making a really bad label and just doing whatever the hell we wanted and uh, we could have like a really crummy house music uh, record coming out and then the next one was a, a I don't know grind record or something grindcore record or something I'm talking about the first months mm -hmm. Uh, which was when we released loads of like 20 r uh, records that most of them are really not interesting <laughs> but then we started to try to you know I, uh, we didn't try but I guess it was like the and at the time we all had uh, like they the Tito and Nuno all had uh, um, different projects like we came from I came from folk, they came from rock, psychedelic rock, and then we started doing something that we didn't felt had a, we didn't, you know, when you have a rock band, you, you do rock. But now uh, with our following projects, when Favela started to become a little bit more serious, uh, we started just doing what we felt like doing and uh, some of us got more interested in I guess you could call it experimental or whatever and you know it started to evolve in that path 
And one of the biggest things we gave, I guess, to the to Porto, to Porto, was uh, this year, the last year we did a residency in Café Olé, which is a bar and uh, which and a um, concert mm -hmm. venue. But they, um, yeah, uh, we had like all Thursdays, we had a free night there. And um, one of the interesting things was it was all, all, almost always full. It was, you know, you know, the people went there and people from Bellas Arts, from, from other faculties and people who didn't have anything to do with music or something. I don't know, but I think it was interesting that people started going out and listening to whatever was going on and we really tried to uh, make an emphasis uh, emphasis on improvised music and on collaboration mm -hmm. and you know I, we we kind of i don't know if you can say this but curated like uh, collaborations we would ask mm -hmm different musicians to create something in Mr. particular. Mr. Musicians from Favela with external people. Yeah. Um. Um, in, in our case, from Favela Discos and the part of the, of the curating, uh, the part of selecting, you know, um, we, um, I I don't know. Sometimes I I think it really depends on on the musician you're talking about, mm -hmm. and uh, because sometimes we think like that uh, they have similar languages and that's why they would work together, but sometimes it's they would work together because they don't have. It's the opposite. They are, you know, like uh, at the residency at least we try to focus mostly on only two people mm -hmm. uh, collaborating. Um, uh, but when, w uh, 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 so it's kind of, I don't know if it, if it's easier because those two people have to create something, mm -hmm. and sometimes. We had big groups too. We had big big groups and yeah, that's kind of easier because when we have <laughs> big groups it's mostly just favela and someone mm -hmm. uh, arranging or someone directing the the play like we had with uh, Jonathan Saldanha mm -hmm. once and with uh, Diogo Jesus which is a comic book artist and comic book, I don't know. As a zine artist and also a musician. Uh, one of the other things I, I thought uh, was interesting when we started uh, being able in our residency to bring people from Lisboa was that, you know, uh, all of a sudden there was like a flux created mm -hmm. and Between. we brought, uh, I think, uh, Gabriel Gabriel Ferrandini was like the guy from Lisbon who played more at our. Mm -hmm. He played three times: one with Pedro Souza, one with Rodrigo Amado, and the another with uh, David Maranha, which is a guy that I really That's like. Great. I think it's starting to create some some impact. I guess. Yeah, I think it's not that small any as well as a scene. In the last years, I think. Um, I would like someone to continue like what was happening last year mm -hmm. with the the residency because every week you had something, someone playing, someone interesting playing and I know that for example no now Cafe Olé I, I don't think they are uh, giving continuation to what happened um, and we aren't as well because we want to evolve as our as musicians 
and not as only as curators and you know programmers or something. We need a time and a, a place to yeah to work and work to calm down and calm down to create new things too. Mm -hmm. But I think Explore. I think it was it it just proved that there was public, mm -hmm. there is public, okay. there is there is there are pers there are people who want to go out and see. Difference, uh, you know, some something. Mm 